Hi guys, Altimi here and we are in a beautiful company of Obsidian Kertu, an alternative model from Serbia who is also a graphic designer and applied artist. You travel a lot. Yesterday when we were uh, talking about the interview you just arrived from another journey. Um, most of your travels are modeling related. Where do you go and what do you do? Uh, well, I mostly travel to Croatia because I uh, have an awesome photographer there and uh, she is my good friend and all collaborations with her are like very successful so I'm working with her uh, most of the time and uh, I travel throughout Serbia and uh, all my traveling is uh, mostly related to uh, my work so that is for now but I will go to Sweden to shoot with other models from Vampire Freaks as well, so that is just uh, something in the nearest future for now. You've been collaborating with Vampire Freaks, you've been collaborating with uh, God and Amazing, uh, you have working for two different agencies. Coming from a small town in central Serbia, how did you break from this uh, uh, localized environment into becoming a basic international model? Uh, well, uh, when I started my modeling, it was just for fun and uh, it was my hobby. Uh, but uh, I was accepted uh, as uh, a Vampire Freaks model and uh, in two agencies. So uh, people recognized my style and my quality of work, so they just contacted me to start collaborations with uh, big brands and uh, other designers, and that is how it all started. One of the things that actually really comes forth about your work is a very high quality of the photos, especially in the makeup department. Um, you do most of the makeup yourself. Where did you learn this and did maybe the training as a graphic designer help in this uh, way? Uh, well, I was self-taught. I uh, actually love makeup so much uh, and I am a huge makeup junkie. So I was experimenting my whole life and trying to be unique and yeah, my art classes and uh, being a graphic designer and uh, applied artist uh, really helped me to achieve my uh, quality and uh, perfection and dedication to details, so it helped me a lot, yeah. You've been modeling many different styles, but one of your favorite styles is definitely Gothic uh, Victorian. Over the years, how did this scene change? Uh, has it become more popular or is it still maybe an underground of its own? Uh, Victorian God is pretty popular right now. I think it is the most popular uh, style in Serbia uh, in uh, that alternative subgenre. So uh, I think that uh, it will become more popular uh, with time. Gothic style is unusual style. Has it happened to you that you have inspired somebody who is not in Goth or Victorian scene to maybe try themselves out in this specific style because they saw you, although they didn't know what it was all about? People now are more uh, open-minded and uh, accept Goth as, uh, as something that is uh, like more popular and uh, I think uh, yeah, I think my work inspire other people, so I'm glad if that is the case. With all the traveling and working schedule, how do you manage your private life, your, your personal life? Very hard. I have uh, a lot of work every day and I, uh, I'm trying to keep up with everything and do everything on time, but it is hard and I do need to have like really good uh, organization to like uh, have everything done and um, but I think I'm managing it really fine for now. We are welcoming you as the face of Altamy for the month of November and we are very very delighted to have you with us. I hope that we will have phenomenal uh, cooperation in the future as well. Thank you and thank you for having me here. Thank you.